Hi, my name is Eric Dalio. I'm a music teacher and professional development facilitator. In the workshop you're about to see, teachers are going to be working with technology in the music classroom. One of the things we really try to emphasize is working on deep musical concepts, not just learning the technology. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. So a couple tech myths to kind of bust up right from the beginning. Tech doesn't equal automatic engagement, right? Technology is a tool, right? It's a lot of people like, oh, I've got a smart board. Great, I have a pencil. You know, like, what are you doing with it, right? So make sure, making sure always that your classroom culture, pedagogy, and, and curriculum is what it's all about. A lot of people are assume that, you know, students know everything about tech. They don't, and you don't have to either, right? You can always learn it together. Um, I was like this thing too about like tech being like water, right? We can teach them to swim or we can let them drown. So helping them talk about, you know, good digital practices is important. And I think one of the big barriers that we all face, right? Oh, I've, yeah, that would be great. If I had 30 iPads, I would love to do that, right? You don't have to have a class set of anything, right? You can start small. It's my classroom when I started literally had nothing in it but chairs and desks. And, you know, you get one iPad, you get students working on it at lunch, they do something cool, share it with your principal, right? You know, let them know. And then when the principal's like, ooh, wow, that's amazing, then you, you get them, right? Imagine what I could do with five more, right? And, you know, over the course of a few years, you, you've started to build something. You know, I do a lot of station work in my classroom. And, and so students know their groups, you know, I'll put something like this up on the board, they come in, they get right to work, and I just can kind of just facilitate at that point because they already have their assignments and they know what to do um, and can move around accordingly and keep their own time. You know, I think that's empowering them to, to move on their own and it helps you to stretch your tech, you know, when you have five computers and five keyboards, right? And then you can have a little listening station, then you can have a theory worksheet, and suddenly you have your whole class covered and you're able to do rotations, right? So just once again, starting to just think about how to process this information. As musicians, what do you see here? What do you think this song is gonna sound like, mm -hmm. right? So you're starting to have conversations about understanding sound waves and recognizing those patterns, you know? Oh wait, you don't understand. Can you maybe explain it a little bit better to her, right? And and you're kind of stepping out of the way and the kids are listening to each other. You know, you're, you're facilitating. So we talked about it being very busy, lots of layers. Is the whole song that way? Yeah. No, right? So you're starting to have conversations about texture, right? Um, what do we think the form of this song is? ABA. ABA, right? So, okay, let's listen now. Raise your hand when it changes to the B section, right? Raise your hand when it changes back to the A section. Were we right? Right? What's your evidence? Are they exactly the same? Do we think they're going to sound exactly the same from looking at it? Can you hear the difference? Right? So you're working on that ear training and that focus too. You know, using technology to, to open up that access.